In this video, learn how to use tape reading right on the trading open. Hi, I'm Mike Bellafiori, co-founder of SMB Capital, a proprietary trading firm located in New York City, and the author of the trading classic One Good Trade and the Playbook. Founded in 2005, SMB Capital trades stocks and options and futures and crypto, both as discretionary and automated traders. In this video, a developing SMB trader sits with Lance Breitstein, the number one trader in back-to-back -back years at a tier one prop firm to review trading signals on the open from tape reading. Let's get to work on sharing these important lessons on tape reading so you can grow your trading account. So this is a uh, Tesla tape. It's just uh, basically an opening drive. All right. So waiting for the market to open. Right. C733 held so far. I'm watching that bid to see if we can drop below 733. And it looks like so far we can't. As soon as we try to get below 7.33, we quickly reclaim it. Right now, there is no real trade idea except for the fact that we held 7.33. And the tape is starting to speed up. Waiting for the 7.40 break. As long as we hold 7.33 here, I'm pretty confident about this. Tape's coming back to the high of the day. And right now we're kind of just stalling. Go back to 7.33 again. And we hold it. Some offers at 735. Tape's getting quicker again. And I'm pretty confident now in this. size on the offers. I'm just going to pause it really quickly. This is right before we were, we're about to break 740. So ideally what I'd like to see is I'd like to see a lot of uh, prints on the offer and uh, I'd like to see a skip from 740 uh, and accelerate pretty quickly. So we kind of just touch it there, pull back, and now we'll wait to see what we do here. And we break. And then we skip. This is kind of what I, I'd like to see uh, in a breakout. We're holding 740. We get near there, we rebid. And then we continue to break. This is pretty strong. So 
and that's, that's pretty much the tape. If you want to learn three more real-world setups that our traders use, including the simple setup that we teach all of our new traders, and the setup that turned one of our traders into a seven-figure big money earner, check out the free webinar that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right-hand corner of your screen. That will open up the free registration page in a new window, so don't worry, you won't lose this video. You can also visit tradingworkshop.com to register for this free intensive workshop. You're going to learn more in a couple of hours from this trading workshop than from years of online education. Here are the things that, that I like. I love that you were saying what your levels were and then most importantly what you wanted to see happen around those levels because one of the number one things with reading the tape is that it's not just about what you're seeing on the box but it's how the market is taking that in context overall. And so it's not just, oh, are we going up to 740, but it's, you know, are the, are the bids coming high? Are the offers thin? Is there tons of paying? And you were touching on that. So some things that I think can also really help your trading though, is defining what is a big seller? What is a big buyer? A big seller in something like Tesla that you might be afraid of is way different than a big seller in something like Sirius. Uh, radio where it might be 200,000 shares or something. So let me ask you now, like, what is the type of size on, on the book in a stock like Tesla that you would consider big or, or be mindful of? Uh, I would say like anything over 10,000 shares I'd consider to be big. And so how, how big were some of the, the sellers we were seeing in that video? Um, I mean, I saw a couple 2K. I saw um, maybe like one $4,000 seller at uh, 740 um, uh, and uh, I mean I, I didn't see too many like crazy big ones I'd say. Yeah and it's it's so important because yeah I would say even like thousands of shares is, is pretty big in Tesla but like it's it takes a lot to then filter out all the odd lots that are going off and so one thing that I think is interesting too is being more specific with what you want to see. Um, so, for example, when we got through 740 and you said you want, to see, you, you want to see this speed up, can you get more nuance than that? Like, what are some details that would, that would highlight what we want to see there? Um, I want to see people paying the offer. What else? Uh, I also want to see there being a lot of size on the offer and less on the, the bid. Is, is that true, though, if you're bullish, you want... Uh, wait, sorry, if, you said more size? If people, if, if I want to see more people willing to pay the offer or above the offer. To willing to pay it, yeah, but ideally you have out. less size on the offer than the bid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I think other important nuances are like ideally we would have large bids coming in. We would ideally have large bids coming high or just bids in general going high. And one, one important thing that I always love to see is anytime the spread blows out, you know, if you shoot through 740 and say it opens up 740 by 743, I love to see whether it's going to be the offers more aggressively coming low, or when that spread blows out, do the bids just start piling high? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I think we saw that at 733 uh, with the bids um, because, like, we touched 733 multiple times, and they just keep they kept bidding it up and. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that, that was kind of what I saw uh, there at least. And here's, here's one thing that I think is important to differentiate. So around 733, first of all, why was that an important level to you? Then were we able to isolate any actual buyers there? Like was there a true buyer supporting that or was it just a general price level? I, I, I saw, from what I saw, I could see that we couldn't get below 733. The bid, the bid could not get below 733. And it kept holding 733. Mm -hmm. And so I guess why that level? Is that just simply just because we couldn't get below there? Did it have any uh, significance to you on the intraday or the daily chart? No significance on the intraday or daily chart. It was just something that I noticed in the, in the, on the box. Got it. And so I would say for the future, what's, what's really interesting is when all that stuff aligns. When you're seeing a huge key level, and not just the daily chart, but the intraday, and then you have that see it moment on the box where the box is confirming that, those are almost where the best plays happen, right? Because all the intraday traders 
want to get in front of that level. All the swing traders want to get in front of that level. Then the box is confirming that type of interest and everything else. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. And so what were some signs that might have changed your opinion on this trade? What would have been uh, things that would make you question your, 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 your view or, or the trade itself? Uh, I would say something that would make me uh, question this trade is if at 740 we didn't accelerate and volume got shallow and like we kind of just like skipped back to 737 and like couldn't hold above 740, then I'd have less conviction in this or like we did some sort of stuff. Yep, yep, absolutely. And um, uh, the other thing I was going to say is I'd also, if on the opening drive, the bids dropped on 733, um, I, I think uh, after trying multiple times and it finally dropped, I would have uh, less conviction. Yep, absolutely. And I would even say that what's, what's really interesting with when reading the tape is the more times a level is getting tested, actually the more likely that level is to break. What I really want to see uh, is when, when we get down there, it just gets pushed away. So initially watching that, I was, I was kind of scared but that the level would break, but sure enough, we started to firm up, we started to firm up. Then once that broke, broke those levels to the upside, it was just gone, which can really tend to happen, especially in a stock like, like Tesla, right? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Here, all the, up and coming traders are graded on a rubric based on the criteria they want to see and for reading the tape we have a very clear criteria. So out of 100 I would give you a 90 and 85 is considered the passing grade to proceed to the next level and so as mentioned all the things that I really loved is you were very specific with what you wanted to see, you were specific with what your important levels were and you had details of, of and very strong narration of what was occurring. And it wasn't just the first derivative of, oh, here is a bid, but it was how is everything reacting in that context? Things like saying, now we're speeding up as we approach that level. We, we quickly are you know, skipping prices, the aggressive paying of the offer. All of those were really, really good. Um, things that I think could have made this a 95 or 100 is just, just a level of detail. Um, why is that level so important to you, some of the big picture context of if that level has importance on the intraday or the daily, and then all the nuances of like, okay, that spread opens up. Uh, who's, who's more aggressively closing that spread? Um, what size do I want to see? What do I consider size in this stock? Um, and then uh, some of the nuances like how heavy are we sitting on that 733? Because part of that, in my view, is the heaviness on that 733 then the failure to break that, that led to so much tension and almost that, like that, that, that energy and that coil where once that fails, you get all those people that might have been adding short, adding short, adding short, and now everyone's trying to cover it once, and it really creates that, that strength of that, that up move. So uh, really great job with that, and uh, keep up the good work. Hey, go ahead and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos they're producing for you in the trading community. And please take the time to add your feedback in the comments section for what videos you'd like for us to produce next and what you found helpful from this video from all of us at SMB. Train and trade well.